I always have this like beginning moment of adjustments and lighting. <laughs> is this too white? I, I don't know. If you have a dog and you want to film YouTube videos in peace, I will recommend these. <laughs> they are natural honey coated water buffalo treats jerky strips. They actually look, I want to try them. They're great. And then I have this bone. Girl, the shit I be stuffing in here, okay? So you're not gonna keep irritating me. I got things to do. I have to make money for your stinky tummy, okay? Take some. Stuff it in, literally. And then there you are, stink bug. Now enjoy. And now you're at peace. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's me, April. And if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is April Marie Flowers. If you're not new, girly pop, I swear, bro. Today's video is a rather quick one. It's not a long video or anything like that. I'm just answering questions that you guys left me. I asked y'all on Instagram. And I've seen a couple on YouTube as well, but I asked y'all on Instagram if you have any questions for me and my life. And I got a lot. I got more than I expected not gonna lie and they were really good questions so i'm excited to answer them today i have them pulled up here on my maculus let's get right into it first question most painful piercings my most painful piercings i would definitely have to say are my medusa and my nose rings terrible terrible ter the stomach was horrible too stomach nose and medusa top three worst piercings painful i want to see your toenails <laughs> If you want to see my toenails, <laughs> go on like Instagram or something. I don't know, but I'm not really a, my feet are cute. Like, I don't know, but do you think Kanye is crazy? No, I don't. But sometimes he be posting certain stuff that make me feel like, okay, now you overboard. But for the most part, you know, I have BPD. He has bipolar. I unfortunately relate. <laughs> okay. What? It's no, if you pay attention to what he's talking about, a lot of the things that Kanye says are more so hints towards things than him revealing things but people don't they don't they don't read they don't they don't really look into what he's saying like they need to but i understand him i really do like 100 percent. follow me back can't believe you forgot about me um that's not a question <laughs> and two you it's it's not about i can't believe i forgot about you i don't think a lot of people from like high school middle school understand y'all really 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 did not fuck with me. I don't know what is this all of a sudden you want to be up in my face. I know why, but like y'all did not give a fuck. So why y'all give a fuck now? I'm confused, okay? When you were my age, 16, how did you desensitize yourself from the way your ma treated you? Uh, damn, because I'm the most desensitized now and I'm 21 about to turn 22. So 16, if I'm just being completely honest, there was not a lot of desensitization. I was reacting to like everything, whether it was physically, verbally, like I was very much reacting. I was ready to get, like, uh, I was, damn, you're trying to get emancipation papers. I, I was not like ignoring it. You get what I'm saying? It was affecting me real bad. The only way that I was able to cope was by putting my mind to my future life. And that would help me like, you know step back and like kind of like just tune things out for a second by just being like okay this is what it is right now this is not my life forever so what we're not going to do is make this my life forever what i'm going to do is focus on what i can do for the future when i do turn 18 when i do turn 20 21 like let me gather up all my knowledge learn everything i need to know for the world and then get myself prepped to step out like i said it's more so now that i'm like this but at that time i did try as much as possible to like no, I didn't. But what I can tell you is not to be too hard on yourself. You're young, you're 16. A 16 year old is like a sponge, um, just like a child. So it, it's, you can't really, it's, it's your parent too. Somebody you depend on for like majority of things at 16 years old. It's not easy to desensitize yourself when you don't have any independence and you can't really go out and do your own and live by yourself. You just really have to be grounded. You have to be strong and you gotta like, Tell yourself this ain't finna be my forever what i'm focused on is what i'm gonna do with my life this is them my mother has her marriage these are her kids they're my siblings but her kids my life is individual i don't have children i don't have all this extra shit going on that's her she pushed whatever she was dealing with onto me okay so i had to be real with myself i'm like why am i just reacting so much this ain't my life like if i move out of here i'm not gonna be de dealing with none of this <laughs> I'm not gonna be here and none of this is not gonna be nothing. And it was exactly that when I moved out. Why is different now? So in your life, you will go through the it's gonna it's gonna come to you, but just don't be too hard on yourself. Don't make any permanent crazy decisions now. Don't 
you know, um, don't think about taking your life either, which was really a struggle for me. Don't do, don't do anything. It's gonna get better. And especially for you, this is, that's not your life. Your life is yet to come. Would you do meet and greets in the future? I absolutely would. I get the question all the time. Probably a little bit down the line, you know, I am like, I just did come back on YouTube, like, and ding, 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 ding. but once everything's back in motion and then, um, just everything as well. And then I also have my dog. So moving around and traveling has been very, very, very confusing to my brain. It's actually been hurting my head. I've got no way to watch him, but as soon as everything's figured out, I'm gonna definitely do meets and greets. Meets and greets. <laughs> Any updates on Flow Mink? I'm trying to support. Love you. Love you too, Shadi! Flow Mink is going to be coming out, whether it's, um, well, obviously it's gonna be coming out this year, but I don't have like a time limit on it or anything like that. My main focus is to just garner up as much money as I can. If I'm being completely honest, my focus is to garner up as much money I can so that I can put the absolute best into my businesses. I really like, y'all, I'm, I'm really like, I really pay attention. Like when it comes down to products and I want everything to be, yes, like April approves, April uses this, April, yes. I don't want nothing that I just find wholesale and resell y'all that I wouldn't even put on my motherfucking self. It has to be a one. I want these to be very big businesses that evolve into even bigger things. So I want to take the time and anything great takes time. What are your next steps in life or new goals? I get it if you don't want to share with the world. So from what I'm doing right now and turn it into like huge things, whether I go into modeling and then like I said, my my brands are like one of the biggest things, especially my tooth gemming brand because that's going to be in person. And if y'all know about tooth gems, tooth gems are not cheap, baby. I'm going to be having a bag, okay? I, I want to be like a famous tooth gemmer like in LA, bitch. With that, a lot of different opportunities are gonna come, whether it's sponsorships, meeting people, going here. I already have hella different artist friends and different things like that. I've been exposed to certain things just through my platform. So I know throughout that time, more is gonna come. So my goal is honestly just to keep going. Do you work out? Absolutely. I have a gym in my house, so I just be in the basement like, yeah. How do you feel confident? To be honest, I'm trying to get to that level. Confidence is inside. I've, I've been at a point before where I've had zero confidence, like felt very disgusting, felt very like, it even happened with YouTube when I had stopped for that time. Like I really felt like that. You are nobody else, you are yourself, which is amazing. Your features, amazing, very much unique. The way you are, amazing, very much unique. The way you talk and act, it's unique. Like literally be yourself. You know how you want, you know what? It ain't even no steps to it. The way to get confidence is to be yourself. Be yourself. No matter what you do, bro, I don't give a fuck how pretty you are, how fat your ass is, if you feel like you ugly motherfucker, I don't care. You're none of those things. And all the other looking good and all that, it, it, it. Being a great person inside and having a heart and a soul and a purpose in this world and being able to love yourself and everything around you is confidence it's beauty and that shines through more than anything you don't hate on other people don't talk down on other people don't talk shit about other people don't engage in no shit like that be positive get into yourself like it takes a lot of self you got to cut out things in the world that's not serving you you got to be open and honest with what you would like to pursue in your lifetime how i gained my confidence was by being by myself and really taking time to figure out who is april like let's be real about the fact that maybe i don't need friends right now or a boyfriend or maybe i need to really get into april so april can thrive and april can know who she is and april could be her without these limitations and just you know that's how i got my confidence but the shit is in you it's in you since i was young i felt like that bitch can't nobody take that shit from me swear to god till i even when i'm an old lady like 80 years old i'm still gonna be shitting on hoes i don't care what is your favorite piercing that you got and which one hurt the most my favorite one is Definitely my lip piercings, they are so cute. I'm looking at myself in the mirror, they're cute, I love them. Medusa, like I said, so horrible. Medusa stomach and nose. What place would you like to visit that you've never been to before? Dubai, 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 Dubai. I've been to Hawaii, I've been to Guam, I've been to Japan, I've been to South Korea, I've been to majority of the places in the US. Germany, Belgium, all the places. I've really been to a lot of places, bro. What's your favorite body part? Girl, <laughs> just kidding. 
honestly legs it's so weird but i love legs i think legs are so sexy like having pretty ass legs is just it's just something for me <laughs> what would you not want to be known for uh, being a hoe with what i do a lot of rappers be hitting me up bitch a lot of like artists be in my dms like majority of the time when i'm talking to a guy i'm talking to a guy with a big check so i would hate to be a baby mother to one of these yeah guys i would never let it happen actually and i would never be no open giving ass available home the most used fragrance scent right now i'm using the yellow dream by valentino that's my main scent right now are you feeling better mentally if so what helped yes and you would never believe but my dog my dog is the reason why i'm like this i have nothing else to say like it's not even anything else for real. getting my dog put me in perspective with responsibilities having to not only take care of something else but having to take care of myself for that other thing and then having to keep myself in tip-top shape because there's something younger than me around me all the time i can't be sitting around like a fucking lazy ass child not doing anything or you know and then i have this small little entity that is literally a child dog just around me all the time looking to me for everything i mean I can't it be better for you, Stigma. And then it just made me realize, like, damn, he needs to eat. He needs to do a lot of different things. I need to make money. So then that came into the works. It's just like, he put me into perspective for everything. Like, best relationship advice, don't get in one. Please, yo, do not be out here literally letting yourself fall for a man to the point you are losing the, your sense of dressing, your sense of, you know, being just a pretty girl who takes care of herself. You know, you're with this man, you're getting comfortable with him, you're talking any sort of way, you're eating any kind of food, you're dressing any kind of way, you're not doing your fucking hair, you're not doing your makeup, you're not doing anything. You're not working out because you're so comfortable. Up until the point, it starts getting where y'all can't stand each other no more. Now y'all arguing, now boom, y'all over with and you have no self. No. And you might just be stuck with a motherfucking kid. No, 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 no. These are your years to get your money. These are your years to look beautiful. These are your years to experience the world independently. Don't never let these niggas motherfucking get you. What's some advice you have for dating in high school? Do you recommend? No, I don't. <laughs> never knew how to be a GF. Like, fuck am I supposed to do? I'm mad young. Like, I can't go nowhere with you. I can't buy you nothing. Like, what's up? Also, I had strict parents. I could not bring a boy over. It was not going to happen. Going over to a boy's house wasn't going to happen. I had to do everything sneaky, so I couldn't really do nothing. If you're in high school and you meet a boy that you like, just vibe with him. Become like his bestie. Don't really look into, like, dating and doing the nasty more so just be like make bonds with people so that when you guys do grow up maybe when you're old enough and have everything figured out like hey like we were so tight in school like let's connect what's your cash app very much a flavor very much you can send me that <laughs> are you excited for 2023 uh for what 2023 has in store for you p.s love you so much boo -hoo! yes i am i'm very excited about this year i see my life transforming this year i see me being like i don't know why but <laughs> i got like this image of like a hundred thousand subs in my like i just i see it bro i see it i don't know what i know what it's gonna do it's gonna be my consistency and my energy that's gonna turn everything up but i i this is the year how do you handle heartbreak <sighs> oh god it's different now since i have not been in a relationship and I've healed. At a point, it was really bad. Um, I used to literally like, like blow the nigga from there. Like, and if you're not answering, I'm walking to your house. I'm not even playing. I've done it multiple times. Nigga come pick me up and then now I'm getting called crazy and a psycho bitch and all these different things. It was just really, and now I'm even more hurt because I'm apologizing to you for being a crazy psycho bitch. And like, it's just, yeah. Um, the way that I handle that now is by not letting myself get attached to absolutely anyone. I've, I've realized that I am a prize. I am a literal like piece of gold. If you have me, you are winning hell. Like, I don't know what else to tell you, whether you're just my friend or it don't matter. I, I used to really not have, like I lost myself when I was in a relationship really bad to the point that I couldn't see nothing but him and what he's doing and how he's going about life and how he's happy and I just want to be up under you and do everything you do so when it came down to dealing with the heartbreak it's like 
I couldn't even step back because it's like I'm so used to being around you every day. So now I have to be heartbroken around you or something because I can't even be away. Bad. Real bad. Real bad. Real bad. Real bad. Now that I've healed from that and I have just been able to I just don't I don't I don't attach to people. I very much just go about my life by just being independent and living and you know, if we're cool and we're vibing, that's what's up. That's cool. Um, I don't have casual sex at all. I respect myself a lot. Can't break my heart for real because I have me so much. It's it's just not gonna happen. Like, you want to go? You don't feel like you want to fuck me? You don't want to talk to me? That's cool. I hope you go enjoy your life. I have a great life myself, so that's fine. Everything is self love, bro. I don't care what nobody say. If you have to stop smoking weed, would it be easy? Um. Oh no, she said, would it be easy or something? I need help with. No, yeah, I actually would not be able to do that. Like being completely honest, I've been smoking since I was like 12 years old. So it's not gonna work, babes. It's not gonna work. Um, I've tried it before. I get real mad. I feel like I'm having a withdrawal. It's not going to work. How do you cope with things that genuinely stress you out? I tell myself that it's not the end of the world. Everyone has a bad day. Everyone has a bad moment. If anything, I look at it as a life lesson. Like something to, okay, well this happened and this is how this went. So I'm gonna do better for the next time. You know, like for example, me posting on YouTube and wanting to just, and getting stressed out about that. There's nothing to stress about. Just keep the consistency, stay calm. Everything will, will, will move in a fashion. When you when you start reacting to shit, just when it just, just adds, it adds, it adds, it goes even more left. It's, you know? I love watching your videos. You're like a big sister to me. I love y'all so much, I swear. When did you meet Six? <laughs> I had got my little stinky butt Six when he was like two months old. I actually drove all the way to Ohio. I literally got him from an Amish lady. Well, all her Amish kids, they were so cute. They had a farm. That's where I got six. I seen his little butt running around in the playpen looking like a cute little fluffy cutie. Oh my God. And I just had to get him. I had to get him. I had to get him. Do you make money off Instagram and how does that work? No, I don't make money off Instagram. You can make money off Instagram, but I don't make money off Instagram. I make money off everything else that I do though. Like all the promos, sponsorships. If y'all see me post any brand, I'm getting paid from it. I get paid from every YouTube video I post. OF. That should be having money rolling in. Everything that I do for real, everything bring money in except for Instagram. And even Instagram, I would say I do make money off Instagram because that's where all my sponsorships come from. So I guess you could say I do. What perfumes do you use? Any perfume I use is a luxury brand. But like I said, right now I'm using the Valentino. Valentino perfume. Valentino, Chanel, and I like Dior too, I could say. How do you force yourself to stay productive? Advice for living with narcissistic parents. I think about being broke. That hurts my head a lot. I think about the fact that I am a bougie ass bitch who likes everything on my time and when I would like it. <laughs> I want everything in the world. I have a certain life for myself that I'm not letting go of. It's just not gonna happen. I'm not gonna, I will not settle to live regular. Not gonna happen. So with that, I gotta do something like of course like I'd be real feeling like I want to lay the fuck down like right now like I could want to lay the fuck down go to bed why I'm gonna make this video feel so fucking good that I did this shit then watch no money hello it just keeps you going when you when you when you do something for yourself and you watch your life progress and get better you're like oh wow I should really put this into work and that's with anything you can do anything in this world you just got to really put the work in and it's gonna take sacrifices it's gonna take discipline gotta be on yourself like a coach you gotta talk to yourself you gotta damn near like cuss yourself out if you're not on it bro like you gotta all of this shit comes with self i'm telling you is there anything after youtube absolutely <laughs> i can't even say it because it's just gonna be i i see it i see it but it's a lot that's gonna come after youtube and it's a lot that's gonna come because of it tips on being your most confident authentic self when you think about it you're complicating it for yourself think about what you just said tips on how to be your authentic self what do you do when you're at home with the door closed what you consider that is what I do in my private space. No, that's you. <laughs> when you go outside into the world and you see people and you're like, hi, yeah, can I have water? That's not you. Hey, what's up? Can I have water? Like you can like be you, like how you act, like stop worrying about do people think you're cringe. Stop, don't nobody give a fuck. 
What people don't realize is you think more about how people think about you than how people really think about you. Motherfuckers, like, when you on Instagram and you post and you keep looking at your post, like, oh my God, these people are gonna... The person who saw your post looked at it, scroll past it, and is looking at another post already within two seconds. Don't care and will never think again about what you did. Be you. Okay. Are you excited for this new year? Very excited. <laughs> How is our big boy six doing? He looks so beautiful and healthy. Thank you. He is very happy and healthy. Um, He's laying here right now on my pillows. For makeup brands, does it really matter to you? Like, do you have a brand preference? Absolutely. <laughs> I am a very luxury girl. So I use Fenty for foundation, Tarte for concealer. I use the Laura Mercier powder. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills for my brows. It's just like all my things. <laughs> my brands are all in old tight and it's the 40s. I just love it so much. How do you take such good pictures? Do you use your phone or camera? I use my phone. I literally use the camera app on the phone. Like I don't, I don't have no filters. All my Instagram pictures are zero filters, no edits, nothing. Like it, that's all just me. I guess I'm just a fine ass bitch. I don't know, but I just, I don't know. I just be doing that shit. It's not really like I got no ways to it or anything. I just, that's just how I be. What gives you motivation to keep going? bands <laughs> are you happy hell motherfucking yeah how are you great i'm great i'm great y'all i'm not even gonna say but i'm just so happy like favorite song by dirk i'm not gonna sit here and be no cap ho i don't listen to dirk at all like I, I mean i actually i'm not gonna lie i do be hearing some of dirk music but do i sit down in my bed with headphones on cranking dirk never have i done that i listen to a lot of shit but like i don't listen to like young boy eric well baby I just don't know what it is, but I just don't like it. Can we be friends, nigga? How do you fix your relationship with your mom? Moving out. So move out of the house and then she's gonna realize that you're the best thing on earth and that she actually did fuck you over and she's gonna say sorry and then you can be cool with your mom. How proud are you of overcoming your mental and your family issues and how grateful are you to have done it? I'm very grateful. Um, you know, everyone doesn't have a family. If I could be in this moment right now and just be living happy like i said just cherishing what's happening in this present time i'd rather do that than wait till it's too fucking late i mean you got to be real with yourself and like for a long time i think that i thrived in being mentally unstable and having family issues i'm not gonna lie i think that not and i'm not saying thrive but i think it made me feel comfortable um and i finally just lost that comfort i lost that comfort because i wanted more for my life i want to grow i want to step out of this box i want to have that family you know if i'm talking to a man i want to be able to say like hey like want to meet my mom i, I want to be able to for my kids to have grandparents like it's just like what's going on i want to talk to my siblings all the motherfucking time i don't want that to be no problem where they don't have they don't see me because i don't talk to my parents or i don't want to be sitting in the bathtub on the literal bathtub floor crying for like six fucking hours can't breathe having an anxiety attack because of the most minuscule thing on planet earth. Like, no, I'm very grateful I got over that part of my life. Let's collab. If anyone wants to collab, I'm down. Literally just hit my DM and let's talk. You're so inspiring at creating OnlyFans because of you. Don't say that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's not a bad thing. I'm glad I inspire you, but um. <laughs> story time on how you knew you were gay. Oh, I'll do a story. Yeah. I will do a story on that. I think a lot of little girls are just, it doesn't matter younger girls older girls i think a lot of people would um relate to that wig install because i need to learn and make up with story time oh yeah i forgot y'all was giving me <laughs> i asked for questions and some of y'all were giving me video ideas i really appreciate it though i fucking love you your goofiness and the fact that you never give a fuck and your weirdness match me to a t bitch yeah who gonna care no i don't think so that's so goofy the rest of these are all literal um and it's hella of them too that's mad wow damn the rest of these are all video ideas so i appreciate that i'm really finna take them in like thank you i did get some questions about my relationship and stuff like that um listen I guess you could say I've been avoiding the question. <laughs> 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 I 
bitch, I am a single ass Pringle. I'm literally singler than the word single. Like I am a, like, is there a race for single people? Cause I'm that, <laughs> I'm not playing. I'm that, I have zero interest for real, for real at this very moment to just tie myself to something. Um, I have this guard up, I have this guard up. Although I'm healed, I have a real problem with somebody getting comfortable with me and thinking that they just gonna be comfortable. It's it's a, it's a it's a huge dislike. I mean, whether it's with friendships or I don't care. I do not like people that meet me the first day. It's all this ha ha who are all love bombing, so obsessed, so in love, and then you're fucking just a dry ass piece of fucking shit at over amount of time. You are, you know, and then I have BPD. I'm real with myself. I have BPD. I can't just be like that with anybody. Um, my energy is a lot. I'm very passionate with people that I love. I'm very passionate with myself. So if I'm talking to you, I really care about what you're saying. I really care about you as a person. I care about your being. Um, and uh, it's a it's a it's a cold world out here. I, I don't got the time to expose my heart to people. Would that ever make me change my heart? Absolutely. You know, I love everybody. I love everybody. So yeah. I'll literally be like this till the day I die. I don't give a fuck. I, I, you could be on the side of the road crying, bleeding out. I'm right there helping you. Don't care who you are, bro. I've been like that my entire life. I will sit by your side for fucking 24 hours if that, if that means that. I'll do whatever. Um, but relationships and all that shit, it's just, ooh, no. I don't, it's something about it that's not giving no more. <laughs> like, I never thought that I would feel like that, but it's not giving. So that's what's happening with me and it's honestly the best decision ever made so once i love you i love you forever for real um so i'm not just gonna like and i'll tell you that too unless you really like say some shit to me then i might tell you to go fuck yourself <laughs> but other than that even even if i tell you that just like i told you about shawty my best friend like i really love that girl to this day whether you believe it or not like i wish we could be friends so bad bro i really I, this never gonna go nowhere i feel like that with anybody whether in my past relationship or and the guy that i previously dated was my only truly real relationship i've ever had it was six years long that love is there i mean i have love for him as an individual now am i like oh my god no i'm not <laughs> no i look at myself like that are you crazy Anyway, that's it. That's the end of the video. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. I will be dropping another one very soon. I only took my little break because y'all, I'm a female. I be getting my period. And when I get my period, I really don't like to do anything. And it really hurts really bad. I be feeling like I wanna, okay. <laughs> and they be lasting like five days. All right, I love y'all so much. If you haven't subscribed already, go subscribe down below. It is free, free, free. Turn on that fucking and um yeah girl <laughs> all right i love y'all i'm gonna talk to y'all later stay safe be beautiful be confident be bold don't give a fuck and live your life